tender, juicy, moist. I don't know what you're thinking of, but that's how I like my char siu. Tender, juicy, and moist. Hey guys, what's up? This is CeeLo and welcome to my kitchen. We're going to be making Chinese style barbecue pork today. It's also better known as char siu. Do you ever think that some of those colors come from like FDNC number 40 or something as, you know, as artificial as that? You could be using red fermented bean curd, but what if someone told you that you can try something else like ketchup? Yes, that's right, the lowly ketchup. For me, I'm kind of skeptical because uh, ketchup has a really distinctive flavor already. It's tangy, it's sour, you know? Would it actually enhance or ruin your char siu? Well, let's find out. This is as close as you can get to the real thing and will serve as our reference point. This red stuff is what gives char siu the characteristic color and taste. The char siu police will say it's red yeast rice powder, but even I can't find that stuff. Add one and a half squares of the red fermented bean curd, mash it into a paste, and add a few spoonfuls of the red stuff. Add one tablespoon, whoops, I meant two tablespoons of rice wine, one tablespoon of soy, two tablespoons of hoisin sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, a teaspoon of five spice powder, two minced garlic cloves, and a third cup of sugar. For the ketchup marinade, let's bastardize this even more. Let's get rid of the white sugar and add brown sugar instead. Forget fresh, let's use granulated. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, get rid of the red fermented bean curd and sub in ketchup. Let's get rid of the oyster sauce too. Mix together two tablespoons of soy, two tablespoons of rice wine, three tablespoons of hoisin sauce, four tablespoons or quarter cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of packed brown sugar, half a teaspoon of garlic, and one teaspoon of five spice powder. Pour over your one pound strips of pork shoulder. After 24 hours, look at these glistening logs of meat. Oh, look at Hello Kitty. Help me, I'm melting. Oh, oh my God. It's so crispy. We need smell-o-vision for this. Mmm, this is so good I even had to walk away. So I'm actually quite surprised that ketchup marinade was actually amazing. It didn't taste um, ketchup-y or um, have that tomato-y sourness to it. Uh, the uh, brown sugar, everything all mellowed out in the end. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm. This one, that's the winner. Now that I was able to have a taste of both of them, it's obvious like which is the winner. It's actually a little obvious before we even started. If someone offered me the ketchup marinade version at a, I don't know, party or something, uh, yeah, I'd eat a piece. Well, I'd probably eat five, but uh, if I run out of my jar of red fermented bean curd, yeah, I probably will reach for that bottle of ketchup. Look how well the marinade coats spam. Remember kids, if it's good enough for spam, it's good enough for any other meat. <laughs> <laughs>